Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with another game in the New Jersey general season. As you can see up here, we are tied with the Bills at 4-2 and two at the top of the division, but we lost to the Bills in overtime in the first game. And uh, if we go down and we look at some of the stats that we've got, you got Brian Sipe on the year, 96 of 171 for 1,045 yards, 7 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. Not very good. And even the running game is not that spectacular. You got Herschel Walker, 102 carries for 375 yards. Carthon, 70 carries for 338 yards, which is really the most impressive as far as yards per carry. And he has three touchdowns. Uh, Clarence Harmon, 22 carries for 88 yards. Don Calhoun, 13 carries for 48 yards. And Rod Peegs, 11 for 42. So we're really um, not an overwhelming offensive juggernaut, yet we are 4-2. and two. We did lose to the Michigan Panthers last week by the score of 23-14. But this week, we are playing the 77 Steelers, a team who we met in battle recently, well, actually in game two of the season, and won 14-7 over them. And as you can see, the Steelers are 0-5 and 1 with 66 points for and 123 against. So we'll see if we can beat them this time. I mean, they're not going to be any competition for us as far as tiebreakers at the top of the um, leaderboard, you know, at the top of the uh, division. But they are going to be, um, they are going to be a bad team that we would hopefully beat. So. Let's get on with playing the week. And uh, prepare to take on the 77 Steel. Again, I think the Steelers are so bad, and so are the Cowboys, because they're from the 70s, and their quarterbacks, Staubach and, uh, and uh, Brescia, threw downfield when they threw. They didn't do, like, little dump-off passes like they do today. And that hurt their... Um, you know, their averages and all of that kind of thing. So let's see what happens here. I am going to defer and kick off now because I received the kickoff last week. I decided against Michigan I would receive the kickoff. And we lost that. We ended up losing that game. So I am not inclined to do that again. I don't think that had anything to do with it. I think they just outplayed us. But... I am going to, uh, I'm going to go in, I'm going to put in the balance for this first play, Bradshaw, and he hands off to Blyer, and we stop him. So they got one yard there. Let's go, let's go to the run. I mean, and see, that's another thing. So now we know Bradshaw, is, he, yeah, that was incomplete, right? Yeah. We know Bradshaw's not that great at passing. I'm just going to double team Swan and put in the pass play, and we do stop him. So he's got a punt, fourth and two. I'm gonna put in the punt return. And I am gonna to try to return it. And there is a penalty, maybe on us though. No! Uh, accept the penalty. Pit, wait, accept the penalty. Pittsburgh ball on the on the Pittsburgh ball on the Pittsburgh twenty-eight, fourth and seven. Or decline the penalty. New Jersey ball on the New Jersey thirty-seven. No, you know what? Um, I like where we are. I like where we are on the field. I don't want to take a chance on it being any worse. Uh, let's go off tackle with Walker. And he gets a few yards. Three. 
Uh, let's go Lion Buck with Carthon. And he gets a few yards. So now we got a third and two. I'm going to go Lion Buck with Carthon. And he gets the first down. Nice. I mean, you know, whatever works off tackle with the uh, halfback walker. And he gets some nice yardage. I mean, as long as I can run, on, and this is another thing, why can I run on the 77 steel curtain? I don't really understand that, but I can. And again, I have heard the theory that the um, that Strat makes the good USFL teams so good that if you put them up against NFL teams, they would like beat them because they're made to actually win in the USFL. And their statistics were probably better because they were playing other USFL teams, not NFL teams. And I can't deny that that's true, but um, we'll see. So anyway, line buck with Carthon, third and three. And he just came short, but you know what? I am going for it. You know I'm going for it. We're going to put in the... Uh, I think we're going to put in the full house. Yeah, we're going to put in the full house. And I'm going to do a line buck with Carthon. And he gets the first down and a little more. That wasn't really a risky call with the way I've been moving the ball, but it was nice. So let's go to the pro set. And let's go. He's not going to be looking for this at all. Flat tonight. And there's a penalty on the play, and that was incomplete, and it's on us anyway. So now we got a first and 20. So now we're really in a situation where we got to pass. Let's go short to the split end. I had to do that. I had to deviate from a game plan that was working. Of course, this is nice. That was a great pass. All right. Uh, so we've got a first and 10 now at the Pittsburgh 24. I'm going to go line buck with Carthon. See, the, and another problem is you lean on the running game this heavily this early. Carthon and Walker are going to get tired uh, really quickly. We did have a game this year, in fact, where Walker got tired before the end of the game. But right there, he gets the first down. We got a first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 12. So I, now I'm going to try short passing into the end zone. Let's go short to spec. It's incomplete. Come on, Sype. Second and 10. You know what? I'm going to go end run Walker. See if on second and 10, if he's looking for it. And he, I don't know what he was, but we got a third and six. I'm going to go short to the flanker. And it's incomplete. We got to kick a field goal. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not... I'm not crazy. I'm, I'm going to kick a field goal. We got to come away with points. And we did. So we're up 3 nothing. We used a lot of time in the first quarter, too, which also helps. All right. I'm going to put in the balance to start the uh, series. He runs again, this time with Franco Harris. Um, second and six. I'm going to put in the run. I'm going to put in the run, and I'm going to key on Blyer. And that is the greatest call, because we got him. So now he's got a third and seven. He uh, lost a yard on that, so we're going to put in the pass defense. And we're going to double-team Stallworth. And we're going to sack Bradshaw. All right. He's got a punt again. 
I'm going to put in the punt return, not the punt block. I don't want to do anything that's going to upset the apple cart, maybe get a penalty. I don't need that. So we are going to try to return it. Um, I don't need that thing bouncing back down to the 20. And we are in Pittsburgh territory. We got a first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 44. And so this is where you go off tackle Walker. <laughs> oh God. Chuck Knoll's got to be like, we know what's coming and we can't stop him. Line buck with Carthon. And look at Carthon go. What is it? What, did they think I was going to pass? All right. We got to get now this time we got to pop it in. Let's go line buck with Carthon. I mean, you know, nothing else is working. Oh, what is that's on us. First and goal from the 14. You know what? I'm going off tackle with Carthon. And he gets caught in the backfield. All right, second and goal from the Pittsburgh 14. I'm going to do a look in pass to the second tight end. And he catches it and gets it down to the six. So we've got a third and goal from the six. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna go short to the split end. And it's incomplete. So we gotta kick another field goal. And you know, I keep remembering what a friend of mine once said, the team that kicks the most field goals loses the game. But this will give us six points, and we are stopping Pittsburgh. I mean, we've stopped them big time. So it is six nothing. Would have been nice to get a touchdown there. But remember, last time we only beat him 14 7. He only scored seven points on us, and we only got 14 on him. So I'm going to put in the pass this time. I think he's going to come out with a pass. And he did, and I still didn't stop him from getting nice yards. So he's got a second and four at his 31. Now I'm gonna go just general run. And he does run with Blyer. And we do stop him, he's got a third and three. I'm gonna run, I'm gonna put in the run. If he wants to pass, he can pass. But I'm looking run and we don't stop him. Oh, he did a... Uh, like a reverse with Lynn Swan. All right. I'm going to run and key on Harris. Oh, no. I guess I have to key on Blyer. Oh, he's passing. And I'm intercepting. And I am going to try to run it. Try to gain some yards. So we, we picked off... Um, Terry Bradshaw. So, first and 10 at the New Jersey 38 for us. And of course, we're gonna go with what's working. Off tackle with Harmon. See, they've already taken Walker out of the game. We're already using him too much. Uh, line back, line, line back, line buck with Peegs. So we're, we could be in trouble. Oh, we are in trouble. We fumbled. So now he's got it first and 10 at the New Jersey 29. See, yeah, now everybody's tired and uh, I'm gonna double team the split end on a pass. And we stop him right before the first down, but he's only gotta go a yard. So I'm gonna put in the run. And see, here's the problem. He scores a touchdown here then it, he's ahead by one when we worked the ball down the field twice and stopped him three times. I'm going to look for the run. And there is a penalty on him, I would imagine. Yes, third and six. I'm, I'll put in the pass. And we can't stop Bradshaw from running for yards. That is pathetic. All right, first and goal at the New Jersey 7. I'm, I'm going to put in the pass. I mean, I don't know. 
He scores a touchdown, and now he's going to be ahead 7-6. With 11.54 left in the half. just going to take the ball yeah and that's what they want to do see now we've got a, a situation where we have our second string running backs in line buck with peaks although he does get some yards so we got a second and six I'm gonna go line buck with Harmon and uh, that does not work in fact that wasn't even a line buck I don't know what that was so now Sipe has to pass it, which is not his strong suit, as we pointed out with the stats at the start of the, um, before the game started. There is a penalty. Hopefully it's on Pittsburgh, although actually maybe not. No, it's on us anyway. Third and 18 from the New Jersey 17-yard line. Got to go short to the flanker. I mean, you know. And uh, we get yards, but it's 4th and 12, so we are going to punt. So what was working really great for us early on may not be working well for I'm hoping in the second half they come out and they're fresh again. And that was a good return. Oh, um, yeah, I'm going to accept the penalty. Yeah because they've got really good yardage there. So, but even on fourth and seven, I am punting. I'm just going to try to get them further back because that was good field position for them. Uh, well, it turns out it was almost as good or better. So I'm gonna look for the run. I mean, that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna run the ball. We do stop Franco Harris, even though we were looking for the run, though. He got eight yards. I'll look for the run again. We do stop him, but now he's got a third and one. And he's going to get it. I mean, you got to think. But this time we're going to run and key on Harris. And he's passing. Well, I mean, that's good from the aspect that if it's incomplete like that, no, he's going for it. Fourth and one, he's going for it. All right, I'm going to look for the run, and I'm going to key on Harris. And we do get him. Nice. So it's first and ten for us. We take over right there. He's not going to get any points. Uh, line buck with, all right, Carthon's back out there. So that's good to see. And Carthon gets some good yards. Line buck with Walker. All right, good to see they're back. They just needed a couple plays off. Third and three, you know what I'm doing? I'm going line buck with Carthon. And there is a penalty. And I am going to accept the penalty. That's all I need to know. So we got a first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 37. Um, I'm going to go end run with Walker. Let's see if he can get around the end. He cannot. In fact, he gets caught in the backfield, and so we have a second and 12. I'm going to go flat to the tight end. And that's incomplete, he throws it over his head. Third and 12, well, third and 12. You know what you gotta do. Short to the flanker. And he gets the first down, nice, that was key. That was huge right there. 421 left in the uh, first half. We have a first and 10th, the Pittsburgh 25. 
going to go line buck with Carthon because we just want to keep moving it down the field. We got a field goal, which would put us ahead. Second and seven. Let's go off tackle with Walker. He gets some yards and then he fumbles the ball. Oh my God. All right, so Pittsburgh has it first and 10 at their own 19. We're gonna look for the run. And we get Harris after he gets uh, two yards. Gonna put in the run. And we do not get, oh, we do get Harris. So they have a third and two. I'm gonna put in the run. And we get Harris before he gets the first down, and we are going to... If I accept it, it's Pittsburgh ball on the 17, third and 12. No, I'm going to decline because he's going to punt to me. And this time we'll put in pump block. If you know he's going to punt, and he's punting from deep anyway, as it is... I don't think you mess that up. And he doesn't go anywhere. Minute 52 left. I'm going to try a long pass out of the blue to the split end and see if he's looking for it. And it's incomplete. I'm going to do it again. That's pretty much what I'm doing. Nope, incomplete. Let's go long to the split end. Oh, now he's gonna try a dump off pass. But he gets the first down with it, so that's good. It buys us another set of downs. And I'm gonna go long again to the split end. I mean, if Sype has this kind of time, eventually you gotta think he's gonna complete a pass. And he does not complete that. Long to the flanker. I mean, we get the ball in the next half, so. And it is caught, yes, that's what we needed. We needed that. First and 10, Pittsburgh 24. I am gonna call a timeout. Now I'm going to go short to the split end. We just got to not lose yard. First down. Nice. First and 10 at the Pittsburgh 14. What we got to do, like I say, is not lose yards and not fumble the ball this time. I'm going to go out of the pro set, though, because we're going to try to pass it into the end zone. And it's incomplete. Uh, second and 10 at the Pittsburgh 14. Short to the second tight end. And he does catch it, and he's going to get the first down, and he's going to go out of bounds at the two. <clears throat> we got a first and goal at the two. You know what? I really need to do this. I got to go line buck with Carthon. And it's a touchdown. It was big. It was big. I had to gamble. So we're going to try the extra point. And that puts us up 13-7 and we get the ball at the, at the, uh, in the, <clears throat> at the start of the second half, so. They always get a great return, man. That's, I mean, that's their, their bread and butter right there. I'm going to put in the pass. Because I was, I just remembered. I saw that we had a diamond. And I just remembered that, like, yeah, near the end of the half, he's got no choice. We intercepted. 
I'm going to try to return it. Uh, eight seconds left. Well, you know what we're doing. We're going long to the split end. And it's incomplete. One second left, you know what? I'm just gonna go line buck with sight. And that should be it, and it is. So that is the end of the half, and we are leading at the half 13 to seven over Pittsburgh, and we will get the ball to open the second half from that. So they're kicking off. Let's see if we can get a nice return. We never get a nice return. I hate that. Well, here I'm just going to take it on the 20 and they and that's what they want to do anyway. So first and 10 at our 25. Going to go line buck with Carthon. They know the game plan. They just can't stop it. Second and eight, I'm going to go line buck with Walker. And he gets a couple yards. So we got a third and six. Third and six, I'm going to say, you know, let's go flat. Flat to the split end. And he gets a first down. Nice. That's how we got to do it. That's how you work it down the field. Line buck with Carthon. And he's going to get some serious yards, folks. We got a first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 48 after that. Let's go with line buck Walker. Got to share the duties and Walker gets the first down and a little bit more. And so now we have a first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 34. Gonna go line buck with Carthon. And he gets quite a few yards. First down at the Pittsburgh 29. You know what, I'm gonna keep this in, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna switch out um, Carthon for Calhoun. And then we're gonna go line buck with uh, Calhoun. And Calhoun gets close to the first down. Third and one. Yeah, you know what you gotta do. Line buck Carthon. And he gets the first down and just a tad more. And so we got a first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 21. I'm gonna go off tackle with Walker. And he gets a few yards. We got a second and six at the Pittsburgh 17. Line buck with Carthon. And he gets the first down and he almost had a touchdown, but not quite, but we got a first and goal at the three. I'm gonna go line buck and this time with Peaks. Let Peaks try to take it in. And he does not, he gets back to the line, maybe. Second and goal to three. I'm gonna put Calhoun in. And we're gonna go line buck with Calhoun. And Calhoun gets it to the one. Third and goal from the Pittsburgh one. Oh, uh, what do you call here? You know what? I'm going to the pro set. But I'm going to go line buck with Carthon. And they're offsides. But that doesn't really help us. Um, third and goal to Pittsburgh one. I'm going to go line buck with Carthon. Oh, he still does not get it. First down. You know what? Um, yeah, they yeah they got our offense out there. 
That's what I'm doing. Line buck with Carthon. Oh, they stopped us. Unbelievable. But now they've got to work the ball down the field 99 yards. And I'm going to look for the run in general. And they do run it, but they still got four yards. I'm going to look for the run. And they do run it. Of course, that time they got nothing. So, um, yeah, let's look for the pass. They've got to try to pass. I don't see them trying and running the ball. But they do. And they get it. Be no, they don't. We stuffed them. They are going to punt. Nice. Man, just at the last second we got them. Shoestring tackle. But now we got to do all that work to work it all the way back down the field again. Um, try to catch and run, the, run with the ball, yes. But we got to do all that work all over again. Although the third quarter now is almost gone and we have the ball and we still have the lead. So I guess there is that. Line buck with Carthon. I mean, if they can't stop it, we're going to keep doing it. Off tackle with Walker. Yeah, they stopped that. Third and six. Going to go flat to the tight end spec. And he does get the first down. Nice. First and 10 at the Pittsburgh 27. Actually, a field goal will put us up more than what they could catch us with, with, with the next score, whatever it would be. So I should keep that in mind. Off tackle with Harmon. See, now, they're, now the backups are back in. But he does get the first down. No, he doesn't get the first down, but he gets some serious yards, five yards. Um, yeah, Don Calhoun's in there now, so we're going to go line buck with Calhoun, who's good anyway. But he doesn't get the first down. And so we have a third and four. Going to go look in to the second tight end, Bowes. And he catches it, it looks like, but we've got a fourth and one and Ruzik to kick. And yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kick the field goal, and put us up by more than what he could catch us with a touchdown. Because even if he scores a touchdown with a two point conversion, he'll have 15 and we now have 16. So, but it, we need to stop him. I mean, just in general, we need to stop. 49 seconds left in the third quarter, too. So we're basically in the fourth quarter. So this is due time for him. I'm still going to look for the run, though. You can't convince me he's... Yes, we nailed Blyer in the backfield. Nice. I'm going to put in the balanced. Yeah, he runs the ball. We get him quickly anyway. So third and 17, you know, pass and double team Stallworth. I mean, it doesn't take a brain surgeon. And he runs it and he's gonna get it. No, he's not. No, he is not. So they're gonna punt the ball and we're gonna put in the punt return. He thought he was tricky there. Then he almost was. And now this time, the, our returners just say, no, we don't want any part of that. <laughs> um, you know what? Uh, we can we can put in pigs. I mean, I'm, I'm content right now to just run the ball out, run the time out. We're gonna go line buck with Calhoun. And Calhoun, look at that guy. Got 11 yards for us. First and 10 at the 22. Go line buck with Carthon. And they're, they're offsides. Nice. We got a first and five at the New Jersey 27. 
put in Calhoun and go line buck with Calhoun. And Calhoun gets the first down. Love Don Calhoun. All right, so we got a first and 10 at the New Jersey 32. Um, let's go off tackle with Walker. He gets a lot of yards. Nice. Finally. All right, so we got a first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 44. Um, yeah, I guess we'll leave that in. Line buck with, Ka with Carthon. Uh, this time he gets stuffed quickly. Second and 10 at the Pittsburgh 44. Um, I'm gonna go short to the second tight end. And it's completed for a first down and a little bit more. Nice. We have a first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 28. Again, we were already ahead by more than what he could catch us with one score. So, line buck with Carthon, 11.03 left in the fourth quarter. We don't get much of anything there. Two yards. Second and eight. Uh, let's go end run with Walker. There is a penalty on the play. And we're going to accept it because it was a terrible play for us. So we got a first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 13. I'm just going to throw it in the end zone now. We're just, we're done fooling around. I mean, I was content to, you know, just eat some clock. But we're going to eat some clock and score a touchdown and probably put this game away. I'm going to kick the extra point. So now, if I'm not mistaken, two touchdowns with two extra points, that would give him 20, that would give him, uh, with two point conversions, that would be eight and eight is 16 and seven is 25. Well, yeah, all right. So if he gets two touchdowns with two ex with two point extra points, he'd be ahead of us, but. Or wait a minute, no, 16, 16 and 7 would be um, 23, he'd be tied. If he, so he needs two touchdowns with two point conversions on both touchdowns just to tie the game. All right, uh, yeah, I mean, now we're just looking for the pass. You can run the ball all you want now because you got to have two touchdowns. And you're not going to get it running Franco Harris. And that's incomplete. And third and nine, pass. And it looks like we're going to keep, well, there. that's on us probably. Oh, no, it isn't. Um, You know what? I'm going to back him up because I don't want to take a chance that he's going to go for it. I want to make it even harder and even put him even further back in. The, oh, it was on him. Third and 22 at the Pittsburgh five. I mean, you're not getting anything. Really? I mean, let's hope. Intercepted, baby. I could see that coming. Try to gain some yards. I don't remember Bradshaw ever being really quite this bad, but we have a first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 35. I'm gonna go line buck with Walker. And there is a penalty on the play. I'm gonna accept the penalty. We got a first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 17. Well, now I'm just gonna try to pass it in the end zone. I mean, come on. I'm playing with house money now. And he's going to get down to the three, it looks like. First and goal to Pittsburgh, three. Let's go line buck and give it to Peegs. Guy doesn't get a lot of carries. And they're offsides. 
so we've got a first and goal at the one. I'm going to go line buck sight. That's what I'm doing. And sight gets smashed at the one. So it's second and goal at the one. Draw play. No, you can't do that. They're off tackle with, with uh, Walker. And Walker scores a touchdown. So, yeah, kick the extra point. And it's rejected. But who cares? We're up 29-7 with 6-12 left. Smoking the Steelers. All right, let's see what this return is. He fumbles it. I'm just going to jump on the ball. I'm just going to fall on the ball. And we've got it right there. And I'm going to throw it into the end zone, short to the flanker. This is going to be great for our point differential. We get it down to the three again. Been there many a time. Line buck with um, Carthon. And we were uh, we false start. So first and goal at the eight. Let's do a short pass to Bowers, Bows, whatever his name is. And he gets a touchdown from that. And we are just kicking Pittsburgh up in their butt now. We are taking Pittsburgh to school. I, I mean, I love it. I just don't understand it. Pittsburgh will be 0-6-1 after this game. As we are leading 36-7. And I'm just going to put in the balanced to start. Oh, they put in a second string quarterback. They relieved Bradshaw of his duties. Um, I'm going to put in the pass. They run. Probably should have known they were going to do that. I'm going to put in the pass. I mean, this is really what they've got. They've got, they should pass. If they run, they run, but that's going to eat up too much time. 253 left. I'm going to put in the pass. Got Nick Graff or whatever his name is. I don't even know what his name is. Third and one, I'm going to put in, I mean, I got the wrong defense in there, but I'll put in the balanced. And uh, he's got a first and 10. Yeah, I mean, the computer keeps telling me, put in the, put in the dime because he's got a pass. And that's right, but he's getting all these yards because I'm putting in the pass defense. Okay, he's got a third and three. Um, this time I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put in the three, four, and I'm going to look for the run, which is what he's got, what he does, and I stopped him. So fourth and three, he's going to put in the run. I'm going to put in the three, four, because I know that's what he's going to do. And he does run the ball. I mean, he's all he's concerned about is getting some yards. So we're going to put in the pass. 22 seconds left. And I don't know who was offside there. Everybody moved, it seemed like. All right, first and 15 at the New Jersey 37. We'll put in the pass. And we will stop him before he gets first down. Second and six. 15 seconds left. We're going to put in the pass. It would be nice to stop him from scoring anything. We do stop him, but there's eight seconds left. I'm going to put in the run and Keon Maxson. 
Oh, okay. I already chose the wrong guy, so... Graf is back to pass, though, and he throws a touchdown pass. Graf throws a touchdown pass. Not, not Bradshaw. But now they put in Bradshaw for the two-point conversion. Oh, that makes sense. All right, well, game over. And uh, he beat us, or no, we beat him. We definitely beat him. What was the final score? Let's get that. 36-15. So let's look at the reports. Look at the box score. We win 36-15 over Pittsburgh. Bradshaw was only 3 of 10 for 22 yards and 3 interceptions. What a pass defense. Uh, Neil Graff was 1 for 1 for 5 yards and a touchdown. He had a great... Uh, passer rating. Sipe had an unusually good day, 16 for 25, 197 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Franco Harris had 13 carries for 40 yards and one touchdown. Reggie Harrison had 11 for 67. Rocky Blyer had four for negative six. For us, Carthon had 22 carries for 110 yards and one touchdown. Herschel Walker had 16 for 76 yards and one touchdown. Calhoun had five for 23. Um, Clarence Harmon had three for three. Sipe had three for one. And Peegs had two for four. So there you go. Uh, let's go look at the standings now. And we are 5-2. and two. We're still keeping pace with the Bills, which is still not good because we've lost once to the Bills. But we have 160 points for and 92 against, which is second best in the league, tied with the Bills, and one point less than the Indianapolis Colts of, I believe, 2018. So, who are 7-0 and undefeated. Colts are the only undefeated team in the league. And the only team with no wins is the Pittsburgh Steelers, who are 0-6-1. So I hope you like that. Um, you know, our New Jersey boys. Let's see what our next game is. Next game, we're going up against the Jets. And the Jets are 2-5 and five presently, so that should be a nice game for us. But uh, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.